This video introduces the trig functions sine, cosine, tangent, secant, cosecant, and cotangent for right triangles. For a right triangle with sides of length a, b, and c and an angle theta as drawn, we define sine of theta as the length of the opposite side over the hypotenuse. The side that's opposite to our angle theta has measure A, and the hypotenuse is this side here with measure C, so that would be A over C for this triangle. Cosine of theta is defined as the length of the adjacent side over the length of the hypotenuse. This side here is the side adjacent to theta. Of course, the hypotenuse is also adjacent to theta, but it's special as the hypotenuse, so we don't think of it as the adjacent side. So that would be B over C. Tangent of theta is the opposite side length over the adjacent side length. So that would be A over B. The mnemonic to remember this is SOKATOA. That's sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. In fact, there's a relationship between tangent and sine and cosine. Namely, tangent of theta is equal to sine of theta over cosine of theta. If you want to see why, that's, that's because sine of theta over cosine of theta is given by sine, which is opposite over hypotenuse, divided by cosine, which is adjacent over hypotenuse. If we compute these fractions by flipping and multiplying, the hypotenuse length cancels, and we just get opposite over adjacent, which is by definition tangent of theta. There are three more trig functions that are defined in terms of sine, cosine, and tangent. First of all, they're secant of theta. By definition, that's 1 over cosine of theta. So it's going to be 1 over the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which is the hypotenuse over the adjacent, which in this triangle is C over B. Cosecant of theta is defined as 1 over sine theta. So that's 1 over the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is the hypotenuse over the opposite. And for this triangle, that's going to be C over A. Finally, cotangent of theta is defined as 1 over tan theta. So that's going to be 1 over opposite over adjacent. Flip and multiply, I get adjacent over opposite which in this case is B over A. So notice that the values for cotangent, cosecant, and secant are the reciprocals of the values for tangent, sine, and cosine, respectively. Let's use these definitions to find the exact values of all six trig functions for the angle theta in this triangle. I'll start with sine of theta, that's opposite over hypotenuse. Well, for this angle theta, the opposite side is down here and has measure 2. The hypotenuse has measure 5. So sine theta is 2 over 5. Cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, but I don't know the value of this side length. But fortunately, I can find it using the Pythagorean theorem. Since I have a right triangle here, I know that a squared, I'll call the, this side length A, plus B squared, where B is this other leg of the triangle, is equal to C squared, where C is the hypotenuse. So here I have A squared plus 2 squared equals 5 squared, which means that A squared plus 4 equals 25. A squared is 21, so A is plus or minus the square root of 21. But since I'm talking about the length of a side of a triangle, I can just use the positive answer. Returning to my computation of cosine theta, 
I can write it as adjacent, which is the square root of 21, over hypotenuse, which is 5. Tangent theta is the opposite over the adjacent, so that's going to be 2 over the square root of 21. To compute secant of theta, that's 1 over cosine theta, so that's going to be 1 over square root of 21 over 5, which is 5 over the square root of 21, the reciprocal of my cosine value. Cosecant theta is 1 over sine theta. That's going to be the reciprocal of my sine, so 5 halves. And cotangent theta is 1 over tan theta, so it's going to be the reciprocal of my tan value, square root of 21 over 2. Finally, we'll do an application. So if we have a kite that's flying at an angle of elevation, that's the angle from the horizontal of 75 degrees, with a kite length string of 100 meters, we want to find out how high it is. I'll call the height y. Well, we want to relate the known quantities, this angle and this hypotenuse, to the unknown quantity. The unknown quantity is the opposite side of our triangle. So if we use sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse, then we can relate these known amounts, sine of 75 degrees, to our unknown amount, y, which is the opposite, and our known amount of 100 meters. Solving for y, this gives that y is 100 meters times sine of 75 degrees. We can use a calculator to compute sine of 75 degrees. Be sure you use degree mode and not radian mode when you type in the 75. When I do the computation, I get a final answer of 96.59 meters up to two decimal places. Notice that we're ignoring the height of the person in this problem. To remember the definitions of the trig functions, you can use the mnemonic SOCATOA and the fact that secant is the reciprocal of cosine, cosecant the reciprocal of sine, and cotangent the reciprocal of tangent.